Hello and welcome. Today we'll talk about the median function in Excel. Um, the median of a set of numbers is a number that's right in the middle of those numbers. So for example, you're given a set of three numbers, uh, three, four, and five, and it doesn't matter in what order you've written those numbers. It could be three, five, and four, five, three, and four, five, four, and three, it doesn't matter. Um, the median is really the number that occurs right in the middle after you sort these numbers. So after you sort them, the numbers are 3, 4, and 5, and the number right in the middle is 4. So that's the median. The median is a function, so I'm going to start with an equals sign. Then I type in median. And I choose the uh, range. In this case, it is uh, B5 through B7. And as you can see, the median is 4. That means that 4 is a number such that there are an equal number of numbers above and below it. Now what happens if there are, um, let us say, an even number of numbers. So you have 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now there is not one number that is in the exact center. So what happens then is that the, the middle two numbers are taken and their average becomes the median. So in this case, the median is the average of 4 and 5, which is 4.5. Next, uh, we'll take a look at uh, the scenario where the numbers that we have been given are not in sequence. That means there are some missing numbers in between. Uh, like in this case, we have 3, 4, and 6. So what's the median? The median, again, is a number that occurs in the middle after you sort them all. Uh, in this case, the median is a number 4. Next, what if um, there are some blanks in the range of numbers that you want to calculate median for? Like here, for example, the cell E6 is a blank. Uh, a blank is not the same thing as a zero. A blank basically means that there is no number there and the median formula is going to ignore that. And so the median continues to be four in this case. What if one of the numbers is zero? Now zero happens to be an actual number and the median formula will take that into account. Now in this case, the four numbers that we have are really zero, three, four, and five in that order. And the middle two numbers are three and four. So the median will be um, the average of the middle two numbers. So in this case, the median will be 3.5, which is the average of three and four. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.